In this video, I'll show you how to clone your old hard drive to a new SSD using a free tool called Clonezilla. The best part is, you won't lose any data and your system will look and feel exactly the same. Upgrading to an SSD is one of the easiest and the most effective ways to speed up your computer. And with cloning, you don't need to reinstall Windows, set up your programs again or worry about losing files. Everything stays intact. Before you begin, make sure your current hard drive and the new SSD are connected to your computer. You can connect the SSD directly through an NVMe M.2 slot on your motherboard or use a USB enclosure if that's more convenient. Just make sure your SSD has enough space to hold all the data from your old hard drive. Also, take note of the SSD's name. We'll use it later to confirm that the cloning was successful. Now let's start by creating a bootable USB with Clonezilla. First, go to clonezilla.org and download the latest ISO file. Then download Rufus. We'll use Rufus to write the Clonezilla ISO to a USB flash drive. Open Rufus. Plug in your USB drive. Select the Clonezilla ISO file. If your computer supports UEFI, make sure to select GPT for the partition scheme. Then click Start. Rufus will format and create the bootable USB drive. This usually takes just a few minutes. Once it's done, Restart your computer and enter the boot menu. From the boot menu, select a USB drive to boot into Clonezilla. On the first screen, choose Clonezilla Live, VGA and large font and press enter. Then pick your language, confirm the default keyboard layout, then choose Start Clonezilla. When prompted for the mode, select Device to Device since we are cloning one disk to another. Choose Beginner mode to keep things simple. Clonezilla will now list all the connected drives. Carefully select your old hard drive as the source. Then select your new SSD as the target. Make sure to double check both selections. If you choose the wrong disk, you could accidentally lose your data. Choose skip checking slash repairing source file system. Next, Clonezilla will ask how you want to set up the partitions on the new SSD. If the SSD is the same size as your old drive, you can keep the original layout. But if the SSD is larger, it's better to choose the second option that creates the partition table proportionately. This way, the extra space won't be left unused. In this case, I am going with Create Partition Table Proportionately. Clonezilla will then ask if you want to save log files. You can skip this part. It will also ask what you want the system to do once cloning is finished. I usually select the shutdown option, so the PC turns off automatically when it's done. At this point, Clonezilla is ready to start cloning. It will ask you to confirm several times. Type Y and press enter each time you are prompted. Once the process starts, sit back and let it run. Depending on how much data you have and the speed of your driver, it could take anywhere from 15 minutes to over an hour. When the cloning is complete and the system shuts down, unplug the old hard drive and remove the USB. Turn the PC back on and it should now boot directly from your new SSD. 
if everything worked, your desktop, files and programs will look exactly the same. Only now it will run much faster. To confirm that your system is now running from the SSD, open the disk management and check the disk name and details. You'll see that the SSD, which was previously empty, now contains all the data copied from your old hard drive. And that's it. You have successfully cloned your hard drive to an SSD without losing any data.